What's up, Habs fans? I'm your host, Evan Milner, and we are back for our second stream of the day on Twitch, live in Brossard from the Canadians Development Camp, presented by RBC. But this one feels a little more special because, as you can see beside me this afternoon, we are joined by Habs prospect Lane Hudson, who is coming off an outstanding season at Boston University. Lane, how are you? I'm good. Uh, thanks for having me. Now we'll get back to Lane in a few short moments, but before doing so, we'll quickly go over our usual housekeeping notes. On est ici avec Lane Hudson qui va nous parler dans quelques instants, mais avant qu'on commence, j'ai quelques petites notes à vous partager. On va encore donner un chandail officiel des Canadiens signé par Lane lui-même. Alors soyez actifs et positifs dans le chat et posez vos questions pour courir la chance de gagner le chandail. Et si vous avez des questions pour Lane en français, n'hésitez pas à les poser dans le chat et je, dans le chat et je vais les traduire sans problème. As I'm sure most of you know, we are once again giving away an official Canadian's jersey signed by none other than Lane himself. So be active and be positive in the chat, ask your questions, and most importantly, stick around to the end to see if you are today's lucky winner. All right, um, there are no guarantees in life, folks, but I can promise you that I would say 99%, if not 100% of you guys are here to listen to Lane speak, not me, so we'll get started right away. And we're gonna start with a fun activity today. Um, for those of you who don't know, Lane is American, born in the Michigan area, and today is, of course, the 4th of July. So in honor of the American holiday, we thought it would be fun to get Lane to try some of our classic Canadian snacks and foods. So we got some ketchup chips here, some Timbits, a coffee crisp, and of course, for the grand finale, a poutine. So uh, Lane, whenever you're ready, why don't we start with the chips here? Sounds good. First of all, have you had any of this stuff before? Uh, I've had Timbits because I was in uh, Michigan for two years, so. Okay. So they got some more dessert. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, these ketchup chips are pretty unique to Canada. They're on my top five list. You let me know what you think. Give me a rating on 10. I'd say probably an eight. Probably an eight, okay. That's yeah. not bad, not bad. So dig into the Timbits here. Save the Putin for last. So those are the old fashioned Timbits. It was the only ones they had left, but uh, <laughs> one of my favorites actually. What do you think? 10. 10? Yeah. Coffee crisp, chocolate bar. I think you guys call them candy bars in the States? Candy yeah. bar, yeah. Candy bar, okay. Mm. I don't love that one. No? Um, probably like six. All right, so now expectations are up for this one. This is a <laughs> classic in Quebec. I've never had. <laughs> it is unreal, and I would say 10 million other Quebecers probably think the same. So right. this is like your rite of passage into uh, into the province here. <laughs> so that's cheese curds with gravy and obviously fries. Very heavy, so good thing you're not going on the ice after this. <laughs> I had to use the weight, though. Yeah. <laughs> um, 10. It's really good. 10 on 10. There you go. So we got two 10s, an 8. And a six. Six. Okay, not bad, not bad. I mean, uh, I probably would have given them all a ten, but <laughs> <laughs> so that's uh, that's good enough for me. All right. So, Lane, as I just mentioned, you are coming off an exceptional season, uh, freshman season in college. You won broke records, won a whole slew of awards, and were of course nominated for the Hobie uh, Hobie Baker Award. So, how would you describe your first year as a Terrier? Yeah, um, you know, it was great. I had a really good, great group of guys there. You know, great coaches and. Uh, you know, I was, uh, it was really positive there. You know, everyone uh, wanted each other to do well, and, uh, you know, it was a really good, good scenario for me, and, uh, yeah, I had a lot of fun. Okay, and obviously you'll be back at BU next season for your sophomore campaign. Um, it's going to be a good challenge for you to try and top those offensive numbers. Not going to be easy, but, look, you've done it once, so why not do it again? Um, we had David Reinbacker on Twitch on Sunday, and he had mentioned he was really excited to meet you prior to coming to development camp. Obviously, you guys have had uh, a lot of time to chat in the last few days, and you were paired together in today's scrimmage. The chemistry was evident right off the bat. Um, what would you say about David Reinbacker as a person and then David Reinbacker as a player? Yeah, uh, you know, he's a really nice guy, like great person, great kid. Um, you know, he means well. He's uh, pretty reserved, but... And once you get to know him, he's a pretty funny guy. And then, uh, you know, on the ice, you see how he plays. He plays hard. He's, uh, you know, he brings a physical presence, really good with his stick, and, uh, you know, he makes a really good first pass. Now, it was too bad he couldn't bury any of those Fiji even back door, t <laughs> back door today, but um, you scored against him, kind of. He wasn't playing, but uh, you scored an end-to-end -end goal at Worlds versus Austria. Did you poke any fun at him about that one? Uh, no, he, 
Uh, he loved it. He um, he was telling me it was one of the best goals he's seen, and uh, I, you know I think it was pretty lucky. But um, yeah, he uh, he thought it was pretty funny because you know he thought it was pre pretty special goal, and I thought it was you know lucky. Well, look, you got to be lucky to be good, right? <laughs> okay, we'll dig into some fan questions now. Uh, we got our first one here from Atlas X underscore underscore. Uh, have you had time to explore Montreal at all? If so, with which player? Uh, I explored Montreal uh, before the draft last year with my whole family. So we went to a couple of good restaurants, and uh, yeah, it was beautiful. We loved it. Do you remember any of the names? Uh, no, I don't remember, but I just remember you know, an, an Italian restaurant that was really good and then uh, a couple other restaurants too. Okay. Well, one of the things Montreal is known for is the food and their restaurants, so uh, I'm sure wherever you went was, was quite good. Um, okay, our next one here is from Boiled Frog fourteen twenty six. Um, hey Lane, do you train with NHL players in the off season? Uh, honestly, it's just uh, I go back home and skate with my brothers. You know, I compete against my brothers all over the for the whole summer, and then uh, I go to BU for a bit and uh, skate with my team. So, uh, not too many NHL players make it out to where I live, but yeah, just kind of with my brothers. Okay, um, so you were born in Michigan, in the Detroit area, kind of? Yeah, I was born uh, in Holland, Michigan, uh -huh. and then uh, my family moved to Chicago. Okay, so uh, I'm going to butcher this, but Motow <laughs> is asking who your favorite team growing up was. Uh, I loved the Chicago Blackhawks. Uh, I loved watching them when they were winning. Uh, you know, guys like Patrick Kane and Jonathan Taze were so fun to watch, and yeah, it was uh, really fun in Chicago. Mm -hmm. The Kane and Taves definitely put on quite the show in their in their prime. Okay, we got a fun question here from Taryn K H A D or Taryn Taryn Cod. Uh, do you listen to Taylor Swift? Uh, Swift I honestly don't really listen to music too much, but um, you know when when Taylor Swift's on, uh, yeah, I do listen to it. So interesting. So like pregame, are you you not you don't get the earphones in, or you do for that? Uh, occasionally, but not too much. Uh, usually just whatever the guys are playing in the locker room I listen to. Okay, fair enough. Now, speaking of pregame, um, Vitherson underscore B is asking what your pregame meal is. Uh, it's just plain pasta, no sauce, um, and chicken. Okay, pretty basic for, for a hockey player, yeah. <laughs> the usual. Uh, Alan underscore QC, this one's in French, so I'll read it in French and I'll translate it. Uh, salut, Lane, j'aimerais savoir comment tu prépares tu pendant l'été pour la prochaine saison de hockey et être prêt pour cette saison. So he's asking uh, how you prepare for, for next season in the summer. Yeah, uh, I just like to, you know, stay on the ice, stay loose, and uh, obviously hit the weight room pretty hard. Uh, you know, I need to put on some more weight and, uh, you know, put it on the right way. Now, you've played a lot of hockey this summer, obviously at Boston uh, University, and then you went to the Frozen Four. Uh, you were at World Juniors and then the World Championship in Finland. Um, what does the rest of the summer look like from here? Is this time to kind of, I know you're, you're, you're still train, but is this kind of time to, to rest a little bit as well? Yeah, uh, definitely. You know, I need to kind of just reset a little bit and then hit it hard right before the season starts and uh, hit the ground running. Okay. Now, why don't we talk about today's scrimmage a little bit? Um, how did you feel out there? How did you think the pace was? Uh, I felt really good. Uh, you know, a lot of good players out there. The pace was really high. Uh, you know, not often that it'll be that competitive in the middle of summer, so it was uh, really good. Everyone was competing hard. Mm -hmm. I was expecting more goals, but uh, it was a pretty defensive, uh, defensive battle out there, right? Eh? Yeah. Um, okay, Sammy060606 is asking, which Habs player, that, uh, which Habs player you look up to the most? Uh, I got to go with Cole Caulfield. I mean, he came from the U.S. national team, and, you know, he's a super gifted goal scorer, and, uh, you know, someone I really enjoy watching, and uh, you know, he seems like a really nice guy too. Yeah, I mean, Cole puts on a he puts on a show at the Bell Center every time he plays, right? So he's 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 a good player to look at yeah. too. Uh, speaking of Habs players, they, we had so many young defensemen on the blue line last season: um, Caden Gooley, Jordan Harris, Justin Barron, Arbor Jack guy, and the list you know goes on and on. Did you keep tabs on them throughout the year? And does, does seeing them play at such a young age kind of maybe open your eyes um, and make you think if they can do it, I can do it too? Yeah, definitely. You know, I obviously was watching them play and, uh, you know, unfortunate with the amount of injuries they had this season. But, you know, watching guys like Caden Gooley and, uh, you know, Jordan Harris, the way they play, it's uh, fun to watch. And then, you know, our by Jack guy, uh, you know, he's always protecting guys that are uh, skillful and, uh, 
you know, I love it. You know, he, uh, he's really good at what he does, and then you know everyone else too. It was fun to watch. Yeah, did take very long for Jack to win over the hearts of uh, first his teammates, and then of course the the entire Montreal faithful. Okay, Mutisia is asking, do you notice a difference in speed and intensity during the camp compared to NCAA standards? Uh, well, for the time of year right now, I mean, the uh, speed at the camp was really, really good. You know, it was a high-intensity camp, uh, and, you know, compared to NCAA, it's, uh, it was similar, but, you know, obviously you don't expect it to be as intense at this time of the year. Now... So much of the chatter about these camps is, is on the ice, but I guess what some of the fans probably don't realize is there a lot, there's a lot of stuff that goes on off the ice. So how much would you say these camps are about sort of the off-ice off activities and sort of growing as not just a hockey player, but a person as well? Yeah, uh, you know, the off-ice activities are great. Uh, you know, just getting to know guys that you don't know and then seeing guys from last year that, you know, it's, uh, it's good to meet them. And then obviously... You know, watching tons of video with Adam Nicholas, it's uh, huge for our development and, uh, you know, treating our bodies right in the weight room. So, you know, everything off the ice is great. And then on the ice, it's just a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. We had Adam Nicholas on one of these Twitch streams uh, probably about six weeks ago or something. And his, his hockey mind is just, it's, it's next level, right? Um, of course, you had Luke Tuck here this week. He's, at, he's with you at Boston University. He was with you at the World Championships. Are you tired of seeing him yet? Uh... I was getting close. No, I'm just kidding. Um, he's great. He's a great kid. Uh, you know, he kind of took me under his wing this year, and uh, you know, someone I was able to lean on. And uh, you know, he's going to continue to be there for me. And uh, you know, he's he's a, he's a great kid. Awesome. Um, all right. Tell J Studios is saying, "Hi, Lane. What sport outside of hockey do you play?" Uh, I try to play golf. I'm not very good at golf, but um, yeah, I enjoy playing golf with my brothers uh, every once in a while. Mm, I heard the media ask you that same question earlier. Yeah, yeah. I, won't, I won't ask you what you shoot. Maro seven seven six five says, "Hey Lane, what's your favorite movie?" Oh, um, I probably have a couple that I can think of. I really, really liked uh, Miracle, obviously, mm. and then. Another movie I liked is Coach Carter. Okay, okay. Um, so as we mentioned earlier, you were at the World Championship. Sean Farrell was there as well with you. Uh, you were there for what, two, two weeks-ish? I'm sure you guys <laughs> spent quite a bit of time yeah, together. Yeah, it was long. Um, did you talk to Sean or at all, or did he give you any pointers about the, I guess, sort of the transition from college to the NHL? Yeah, uh, yeah, we were talking a bit about it, and you know, he said it, it's, just, it's just harder. Oh, it's uh, you got to come to work every day, and uh, but he said once you once you're adjusted, you know you'll fit right in, and uh, you know it just becomes really fun because you know there's a great group of guys here. So okay, uh, Evan underscore two two five says, "Hey Lane and Evan, hi Evan, great name, <laughs> um, Lane. What's your game day routine like? Uh, usually wake up, go to the meetings." Um, Try to get breakfast in me as quick as possible, and then uh, take my lunch to go, and then I sleep for as long as I can. So usually around two hours, I take a two-hour nap, two-and-a-half-hour nap, and then wake up, and usually one of the first three to the rink. Uh, I go in the shooting room, stick candle, and shoot, and then from there, I'm not too picky about what I do. You know, I'll just maybe tape my stick and then uh, get ready for the game. Okay, we saw you ready to go early uh, before the Zamboni was getting off the ice yesterday. So it kind of reminded me of my days, you know, as a kid, uh, waiting to get on the rink. Okay, we're going to take two more questions here, folks. Um, Bar Barn or Barbie Barn is asking, have people been asking for an autograph? Uh, around here? Yeah. Uh, yeah, a couple of people. You know, there's uh, really nice fans here uh, asking for autographs and, uh, yeah. Yeah, and the turnout today was crazy. I mean, July 4th, middle of the summer, and uh, the stands were packed here at the Bell Sports Complex, which we love to see. Okay, Dark Who Habs 31 is asking, Hi, Lane. Congrats on an amazing year in Boston. I know you like to watch guys like Adam Fox and Kale McCarr. What do you think you can pick up from their game and add to yours? Yeah, uh, you know, from a guy like Adam Fox, I like the way he has poise with the puck. You know, he's super smooth with it. Uh, he's really good with it and sees the ice really well. And uh, he's really good with uh, looking one way, passing back the other way. So that's something I try to try to take from him. And then a guy like Kel McCarr, you see the way he explodes off the line with the puck. 
Um, you know, it's pretty special what he does, the way he moves. And then uh, obviously defensively, you know, just the way they defend, they make it look so easy. And that's something that, you know, I'm trying to work on and I'm going to continue to work on. Okay, now I would say those are the two obvious answers of people that you might look up to. Do you have any other players in the league that you model your game after? Uh, I really liked Duncan Keith back when he was playing in Chicago. Uh, I really enjoyed watching him play, you know, the way he skates, the way he moves, and uh, you know, he, looks, he made it look easy out there. Mm -hmm. So obviously you watch a lot of the Blackhawks. Eh? Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, folks, Lane does have a flight to catch. Uh, the 2023 development camp presented by RBC is officially over. So we're going to start wrapping things up here. But before signing off, we do have a winner to announce. And Lane, we will let you do the honors. So there it is right there. Me, you, me, you, to see ya. <laughs> All right, so Muticia, uh, you have won an official Canadian's jersey signed by Lane Hudson, so make sure to keep an eye on your whispers. Any member of the Canadian staff will contact you shortly to claim your prize. Um, Lane, before we let you go, do you have any last words for Habs fans? Uh, thank you guys for the support uh, the last couple of days. Uh, it means a lot, and uh, go Habs. All right, well, thank you guys so much. As Lane said, thank you guys for the support. Uh, we thank you for the support here on Twitch for tuning in to all these streams the last few days. And there will be plenty more coming this summer, so stay tuned for that. And until then, go Habs, go.